All right, so welcome everyone. Thank you for waiting. Uh, I'm sorry to be late. Uh, I have to run right now, but here I am, okay? Let me just start uh, by asking you, do you have any questions for me about the platform, all right? I don't know about the final exam, something that I can help you with right now. Remember that the deadline, which means the last date is this Thursday at midnight, okay? But uh, if you don't have any questions for me, that's okay. I would say, that you guys uh, can handle it and then it's easy for you, all right? But you know, it's, it's my, I would say my job and my obligation to ask you. And that's why I'm very insistent over here. Yeah, I'm very pushy, you know, on this one. <laughs> Hasta burro. <laughs> so that's why. And I'm sorry about that. So let me just get the presentation, okay? Close the previous one that I was using over here and then we take him from there, all right? December the 8th, okay? December the 8th. So one second over here. Uh, just one quick question. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you this. Could you please uh, look for the chat yesterday on WhatsApp and, and try to find that PDF that I shared with you yesterday? Okay, in there, you should have the, re the review for unit three and unit four. Because uh, to, uh, right now we're going to start with a review, okay? I would say that's gonna be like the second thing. But if you don't actually, I mean, cannot really uh, find it, let me uh, send it to you over here. All right, so that's no problem for me. And I think I'm gonna do that right now, okay? So just one second over here. Um, and here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna send it right now. So one moment. Now just please let me know if you're able to open this, if you were not in class yesterday, so that's what I'm attaching this again. Once you open this up, please, the uh, next step will be to uh, look at the last page in there. So look at the last page that you have in the uh, in the in the platform over there, okay. And uh, let me just one second. It's this one, all right. Let me hide this, and that's easier, all right. So if you're able to open the PDF, let me know, please. Otherwise, I will have to send uh, some images to you. So today we're gonna continue with exercise eleven, okay. And then, actually both are exercise 11, as you can see. But the first one is, choose the sentences in the box that have the same meaning as the sentences below, okay? And this is a great actor, by the way. Now you can see, you have the, the sentences, and uh, le let me ask you, uh, Mrs. Chinchilla, please, Alma, if, if you don't mind. Could you please just help me read Statement number one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Like very quickly, so we can just get familiar with this, if you don't mind. He teaches, he teaches dance. Mm -hmm. Number two, please. What his job? What his job, uh-huh, number three. She's a mechanic. Okay. She's a student. Yes. Number number five. She goes to bed at midnight. Mm -hmm. And six works hours every day. Thank you so much, Alma. I appreciate it. So what we're doing is we're getting the information from this box to match the, the same uh, meaning as the original statement. In other words, we're using synonyms to say the same thing. For example, it says, he teaches dance. Or in other words, he's a dance teacher. What's his job? And then you're gonna ask, I mean, you're gonna look in, in this box for the question or for the statement that matches this, okay? Mechanic, all right, mechanic, all right? And midnight, you say midnight, all right? That's it, that's the first exercise 11. Second exercise 11, it's a little bit, I would say, longer and more complex. Why? 
because you need to choose the correct phrases to complete these conversations. Let me go full screen. And as you can see here, you have, this is a conversation between Robin and Kate. Number two is a conversation between Carlos and Phil. And, that, and that's it, okay? And this has to do with, uh, do you like rock music, Kate? So you gotta choose between, do you like or would you like? I like or I, I like. You have to choose, do you like or would you like, etc. okay? Remember, when you ask invitations, you gotta say, would you? When you reply, you can say, uh, thanks, uh, but I don't have the time. I love to, but I don't have the time. So you make an excuse. Remember, this is invitations. Take it or deny it, or just make something up. Inventan algo. You know, you make something up, up over there. Okay, that would be a great idea. So, in other words, right now, uh, let me just introduce to you that word of the evening. Okay, and then I'm going to split you into pairs. So you can practice exercise 11, the matching uh, exercises out of the box, and then exercise 11 just to fill in the blanks, the, 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 these ones over there, all right? Are we good up to, uh, uh, up to right now? Yes? Yes. All right, I appreciate your response over there, Arthur. Thank you. So just one second while we're here. And so I, I cannot ruin the party. Remember, I don't want to be a wet blanket. Am I still I, am I still sharing the screen with you? Sorry, let me just uh, close this and go to the last slide that I was working on uh, with you yesterday. Yes, it is this in lesson. No, this is intermediate. Sorry about that. Let me just go back. Yes, I have a mess in here, so as you can see. Uh, here we go. All right. Now let me know if you're able to see the screen I'm sharing or if you actually can see every single uh, file that I have available over there. Okay. Yes. That's the one. Can you see the screen I'm sharing with you? The one that says Ingles Corporativo P uh, I1 Ingles Pre Intermediate Module 1. Yes. Yes, we do. All right. You can see it over there. So, two, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Lorena. As you can see, Tuesday, December the 8th, 2020. What's the word of the day? This one, I would say I'm guilty and you, and I would say mostly everyone has been that type of person at least once in a week, right? Or once a month or once every, uh, every end of the month, all right? Take a look at this. Fly off the handle, okay? This means to lose one's temper or to get very angry, right? And I have this example. I'm sorry, I flew off the handle at you yesterday, but I was having such a bad day. If you look up the translation of these words, in Spanish, in Mexico, I would say El Salvador, and I would say Chile or Colombia, you have different translations as you can see here. Okay? Now, let me just, let me just one second. Could you please mute your microphone because I can hear uh, the, the, uh, the uh, interference. Over there. So let me just one second. All right, so that's, that's much better, all right? I think I'm still sharing the screen with you. Okay, if I'm not, just you gotta let me know, please. All right? So as you can see, uh, the expression means flight off the handle. But this expression means in general, but if you wanna say this like, like yesterday you lost your temper or, or your patience, you can say yesterday I flew off the handle, you know, et cetera. At my, at, my, at my father or at my mom, at my child, my children, etc. over there. Translation, it, it means perder los estribos, okay? Sacar de las casillas o sacarse de las casillas. Perder el control, ponerse como loco. Here in El Salvador, y perdónenme el slang that I'm gonna use, it would be encachimbarse. 
I can't say anything else right now porque estamos en, 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 en televisión nacional. <laughs> so I can't say that. But Arturo, I think you get my idea over there, right? <laughs> yes, yes. All right, thank yes. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty over there, right? Thank you. Appreciate that. So as you can see, so uh, if you want to say this in, in, in the future, you can say, if my brother doesn't pay me the money back, I'm going to definitely uh, fly off the handle at him. O sea, voy a perder los estribos si no me paga, si no me paga los 10 pesos que le presté, right? You can say that. It's up to you, right? Fly off the handle, right? Fly off the handle. Handle means manija, ¿verdad? Like in the, in, the, in the bicycle, that's the handle for you, okay? That being said, let me open the breaker rooms over here. And remember, what you're going to be doing is to uh, practice, okay? Just one second, come over here. This, okay? Complete the, uh, the two exercises in there, please. A exercise 11, which is a matching box. And the other one, which is a conversation, it's like a multiple choice, okay, between A and B. Are we good? Are we all right on this one? Yes? All right, so there's going to be a group of three, as you can see here. It says Jacqueline, Jose Arturo, Lorena, you, you guys are together. Uh, breakout number two, uh, Carla and Kevin together, Anna with Isabel, Alma with Rosa, and Arely with Christopher. So I'm going to be joining these rooms right now, okay? Remember, the information can be found in the, uh, in the PDF, all right? Del PDF es que vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right. Yes. Eleven. Uh, is, yes, verdad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, he teaches dance. He's a dance teacher. Mm -hmm. Correct. Kevin, number two. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kevin. What's his What's his job? Another what way. Another job? way. Another way to ask the same question. I can ask you. So, Carla, what's your job? I can ask you that, or I can also ask you. Uh -huh, Kevin. Is. Yeah. Uh, she fixes car. No, because I'm asking you, what's your job? Like, Kevin, I can ask you, what do you do for a living? I can ask you that. But I can ask you, so what do you do? Ah. So remember that okay. this expression, so what do you do, no significa que hace, ¿verdad? Así como aparece que ella llama, ¿verdad? Y le preguntan, hola, ¿qué hace? Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's something else. It's asking you, what's your occupation? You know, what's your job that's the meaning of that okay mm -hmm. nice uh so what about number three carla she's a mechanic mm -hmm. in other words eh, eh, solamente es según las, las respuestas de la cajita verdad sí exactamente okay um... She stay, no, she fix cars. She fixes cars, exacto. Lo que estamos viendo es otra forma de decir lo mismo. That's what we're doing, you know. It's okay. like, in other words. Nice. All right, so let's okay. continue, please. Uh, like, Thank you. You're welcome. Kevin, you're... No, sir. I, he works part-time. Sí. You got it, uh, Isabel. That's that's correct. Yeah, she goes. I'm sorry. He works four hours every day, 
in other words, also in other palabras, in other words, uh, okay. what is it? He, he works part-time, right? He works part-time. Yeah, you got it. All right, so uh, let's continue with the, the, with the other one, please. The, uh, the one below. Uh, that's a okay. conversation, mother, as you can see. This one, right? Okay. So you got to choose between do you like or would you like? On that one, all right. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna be Robin. Do you, um, like do you like rock music, Kate? Mm -hmm. Es la única que falta. All right, mm -hmm. all right. So, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> <Hello. Hi. laughs> All right, so can I help you, Rosa and Alma? If you like. Yes, in number number six. This one. Okay. It says he works four hours every day. And now listen uh -huh. to me. If so Alma, if you don't work, I would say a full time, what's the opposite? What is the opposite of the full time? All day. No, lo part time. Time. It's a part time. It's part a part time. time. Yes. Part Medio time. Oh, Medio okay. It's a part time. Yes. O sea, aquí lo que estamos haciendo es diciendo la misma cosa, pero con otras palabras. So that's what we're doing. Entonces, la expresión es, esto es, in other words. En otras palabras. In other words. Ok. Nice. Nice. Uh, vaya, por ejemplo, what does he do no significa que hace, como que está haciendo. What does he do significa what is his job. Like Rosa, I can ask you, what do you do for a living? Or what do you do? No me va a decir, uh, I do, y se va a quedar pensando. No me va a decir, I, I'm a, I don't know, I'm a housewife, I'm a nurse, I'm a mechanic, etc. Right? I'm a hairstylist. Mm -hmm. You can say that. I'm a mom, full-time mom, you can say. Full-time mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always, right? <laughs> You're not part-time. No, no, mama, a medio tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero para okay. que no, no, so you don't get confused on this one. So let's continue with the next one. All right. Okay. okay. As you, yeah, it's a conversation, Robin and Kate, and then Carlos and Phil. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like rock news? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm back. I finish. <laughs> I finish. All right, so you finish. Okay, you... repeat. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, repeat. Um, la In última you... de la Carlos. Carlos and Phil. All right. There's a march on TV tomorrow at three. Kevin? Hi, Kevin. Would you like to watch that with me? I'd love to, thanks. Aha, uh -huh. con gana, verdad, Kevin? Ahí, they say, would you like to, would you like to watch the, the uh, <laughs> would you like to go watch that, that with me, right? So when you invite someone, you, you, you really mean it, right? O sea, lo quiere hacer con gana, verdad? So you want to invite. Hey, teacher, <laughs> yes. teacher, I have a question. Um, the hmm. question, World, la respuesta siempre tiene que ser I'd love to. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, but you, you just can say uh, yes. So, would you like to go to the movies, uh, Carla? You can say yes, all right. You, you, you can say just no, or you can say uh, I like to, but I, I like to uh, say that. Or pero you, podríamos responder I'd love to or I like to. If you want to say, I, I like to, it means that you, that you want to go. That's okay. But you say, I love to, es que le encantaría ir. Right. I love to. So that's Okay, the... thank you, teacher. All right. So if you finish, let's go back to the main session over here. Okay? Okay, thank you.
All right, so we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds while everybody else, you know, come back from the uh, break rooms over there, okay? So just one moment over here. In the meantime, I don't know, maybe uh, you, Carla, or maybe Kevin, do you have any questions about, I don't know, like pronunciation or something over here, like pronunciation, or are you good? All right. So just mm. I mean, if you don't have any questions, that's, that's okay. That's actually perfect. All right, so don't worry about that. Okay, but let me ask you just one favor over here. So, uh, Carla, would you like to help us with the res with the uh, answers over here, if you don't mind? This one, from this. The the number two. Uh, yes, number two, three, and then until number six, please, if you don't mind. So. But we're okay, gonna do it, but I'm sorry, we're just gonna do it in this way. We're gonna do it this way, okay? I'm gonna ask you the original statement. I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell you the original statement or question and you're gonna tell me the response from the box. So number two, what's his job, Carla? Um, my job of the Box. Here, the, the box, please. The box. What, what does he do? Thank you. She's a mechanic. She fix, fixes cars. Thank you. He's a student. He goes to the university. Goes to the university, correct. Um, she goes to bed at midnight. She stays up late. Thank you. And the last one, he works four hours every day. He works part-time. Thank you. So what we're doing over here is everyone to say the same thing, but in a different way, all right? She stays up late means se debela o debelarse. For example, if you stay up until midnight or after this class is over because you gotta do something because of your family or your job, something just like that, you know, finish the household chores, terminar los quehaceres, you are staying up late, depelarse, verdad? Desvelarse, all right, stay up late. That's how you say it in English over there, okay? Now, let's continue with, uh, with the next one in here. Right now, I need, I need two volunteers. One that is gonna help me, uh, practice the Robin part and the other one, Kate. So I need Robin and I need Kate right now. Somebody says me. Yeah, thank you, Christopher. You are the first one. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? And mm -hmm. who says me? Carla, I'm sorry, Rosa, right? Rosa, okay, so Rosa. And then Lorena, you're gonna help me with the second conversation. You're gonna be uh, Phil and we're gonna have somebody gonna have else. Somebody. Okay, so just one second. So Christopher, go ahead, please. And uh, so Christopher, you're Robin, and then Rosa, you're Kate. Thank you. Do you like rock music, Kate? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. There's a Linkin Park concert on Friday. Mm. Would you like to go? Would you like to go with I'm me? Sorry. <laughs> do you like to go with me? Mm -hmm. Is it do you or would you? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Would you like to go would with you me? Like? Yes, would you? Yes, thank you. All right, so Kate, and you say yes? Yes, I'd, I'd love to, thanks. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. So remember when you, when you, when you make an invitation, you can say either if you uh, know the person a lot, if it's like your brother, you can say, hey, let's go to the park. You can say that. Or you can say, uh, so do you want to go out with me? You can say that too. Or if you want to be more polite, you can also say, would you like to? And I think that's actually better to ask that. All right, so now, Lorena, you're going to be Phil. And we need Carlos, right? Maybe, I don't know, uh, Jose, Arturo, would you like to help us uh, being yeah. Carlos? 
Okay, okay. thank you. So, uh, Arturo, you start, uh, Carlos, and then Lorena, you continue. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, would you like some uh, here is... watch it? Oh. Yeah, that's okay. But it's, it's, it's Arturo, it's, there is a basketball game on, on TV tonight. And then you ask the question, Maura. Um, okay. Um, and can you just speak sorry. up a little bit? There because is a basketball game mm -hmm. on TV tonight. Would and you like? Do you like to come over and watch it? Do you like or would you like, uh, Arturo? Would you or do you? Do you? Do you Especially, like? no, would you, would you, would you? Would you? Okay. Would you, yes, would you, yes. When you make invitation. Thank you. So, Lorena, please. I'd like to, but I have to try it tonight. <laughs> well, um, do you like uh -huh. soccer? Yes. I would. I love it. Um, All right. Let me just stop you over there, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. Remember that in here, Carlos is asking, do you like soccer? You know, it's not, would you like soccer? Because you cannot say, le gustaría el, el, el fútbol. Okay. Uh, so be careful with that. <laughs> okay. So you yeah. say, so do you like soccer? So te gusta o le gusta el fútbol? And then, uh, Lorena, you got to say, yes, I do. All right. Because if you say, yes, I would, it's como, yes, me gustaría, or not, right? You gotta say, yes, I do. I love it. Okay, continue, please, hey, Arturo. Um, there's a match on TV tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Um, do you like to watch that with me? I'd love to, thanks. All right, thank you very much. Now, just remember, please, when you ask invitation, it says, would you, would you like, okay? But if you want to say, do you like, um, I don't, yeah, something, do you like ice cream? You may say, no, I don't, I don't like ice cream, okay? Something like that, all right? Now, let's let's continue with the rest of the class right now, so I appreciate your participation uh, very much. So, just one second over here. We stop over here. I'm just gonna mute your microphones, you know, so everybody can listen uh, perfectly, I would say. All right. All right, so remember this. Yesterday I, I asked you, please arrange, o sea, ordene, arrange the quantifiers or quantifiers from the most to the least. And let's see, we're gonna do this all together, if you don't mind, okay? So the first one was all. And this is like a hundred percent, okay? What would be number two? If you go from the top to the bottom, what would be number two? Can somebody tell me? Or everybody? Nearly all. Yes, you say nearly all. Nearly all. Correct. You say nearly all, or you can also say almost all. Right. All right. Thank you. What about number three? What would be number most. three? Most. Is it, is it most or many? I mean, no. most. yes. Most. It's actually most, you're right. Okay, yes, you say most over here. And number four, it would be? Many. many. Yes, many. correct. And number five? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot, of, a lot of yes. Number six, some, 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 will, some, some. will be, some will be like mm. like like fifty percent. Yes, all right. And let's see, seven. No many. many. Not yeah. many. All right. So not many. And what about eight? Do we have eight? Few. Few. A few. 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 That's correct. Now let's take a look at this chart. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, wow. It is actually perfect, as you can see in there. All right, so if you have to put a, a percentage over here, it all it's 100%, which, which means everything. It no one, nobody, it nothing. It's 
zero percent okay and then i will say uh some is like 50 percent and above a lot of 60 many 70 most 80 nearly 90 and above okay not many would be like 40 percent few like like 25 or so or less than that okay so that would be now just be careful with the grammar because in this case you can say you can either say or this una cosa or this la otra but you cannot say both however so be careful you can say in the united states or you can say in el salvador 75 percent of high, high school students go to college but in this case you can say in the u.s you may say let's see many maybe in the united states many and you have to delete everything over here right be careful many high school students go to college like on number two it says seven percent right seven percent i think it's few right and it would be it would be uh-huh what would be the statement over here few yes few people in brazil are age 65 or older so be careful with with the grammar over there okay and that's the way it is like 40 percent 40 percent i think it has to be not many right not many yes in that case you erase the percentage and until the off over there and you say a uh, not many you erase this as well not many people in sweden live alone okay so we erase even this article and this preposition over there and the percentage okay just be careful with that now just to continue let's take a look at this all right we're gonna do the the first one okay this one number one all together but then i'm gonna split you into pairs again so you can do number two and then you can do number three in pairs all right and then we will continue with the reading we're gonna do we're gonna be doing some reading tonight it says something important when you are learning english and i think for life is to read the manual right nobody reads uh, the manuals over there okay so take a look at this it says rewrite these sentences about the united states using the quantifiers given and then you have this graph okay or this cake graph and it says where children go to school it says 15 percent private school or sea colegios private school ustedes no dicen a uh, uh, college you don't say colegio you say private schools right 80 percent public schools okay and then it says 85 percent of children go to public schools as you can see here 15 percent of children go to private schools so what you gotta do is to, instead of using that percentage you're gonna use that quantifier all many not many nearly all almost all etc like this one it says most children go to public school yes i think that's good because 80 percent is like most 90 percent is almost all or nearly all what about the, this one few and then you said can somebody help me over here All right, so yes, yes, few, few children go to uh, private schools, and I think I would say that the same statistics you know, I would say the same statistics apply to us here in El Salvador. I'm gonna write the word over there statistics estadística se dice estatistic all right estatistic i just send that to you in the chat over there right estatistics you know that's how you say it. let me send the word estadística that's how you say estatistics right? yes sir eh, se escucha interferencia en su micrófono eh, creo, no es el mío de hecho pero gracias eh, uh -huh. Eh, voy a poner en mudo a los demás compañeros. Este. Let me just go ahead over here. 
Yeah, you see, now it's better. Now everybody is muted. <laughs> yeah, but uh, thanks, thanks for that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, a statistic. So try to remember that, please. All right. Thank you. It says, uh, it says, no si solo yo soy, pero no veo la pantalla que comparten. De hecho, si se mira, dicen ustedes. Thank you. All right. So remember, uh, this is actually uh, very simple, but this is what we do every day. We say 50%, uh, etc. right? 80%, and we say most people, many people, and everything. So right now, I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms uh, so you can uh, say these percentages into quantifiers, okay? Number two, and also number three over here. And this is another uh, graph, but in this case, it's a, it's a, it's a bar a bar graph okay are we clear on this one yes i would say yes thank you and i'm opening the, the break rooms right now you are for almost 14 participants here we go uh, here we go there is going to be a uh, groups of uh, group of three in there, but that's okay. So Lorena, Noemi, and Rosa, you are together. Hey, Alma and Arturo, you are also together. Anna and Christopher also together. Isabel and Carla, Jacqueline and Robert. All right, go ahead, please. So right now, uh, if you got a screenshot of these images, uh, you can also share it, all right, because so you are faster than me most of the time, okay? Uh, so in that way, we don't really waste time. All right, so let me send this to you. Entonces sería eh, la, ajá, Nerly All. Sería Nerly All. Nerly All Public to School. Ah, ya, ya, en la segunda. Ajá, en la oración. Sería Many. No sería Many. Como Many. Many young people go to college after they finish high school. Anotémoslo. Many old people. Many. Many young people. Sería. Sería many young people. Many. percent of young people. Ajá. Many young people. To college after the thing they finish high school. Mm -hmm. And some uh, some young people look for work. Like that's that. correct. That's correct, and actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are guessing. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're working. Are you working? Oh, or, or exercise two over here? Yeah. Um, can you do about over, uh, exercise two? 
Yes. Uh, uh, John people sería look for the for words. Yeah, that, that's actually that's actually good. You know the the author, you know the author of this uh, exercise is actually giving you the answer. You know many that's a quantifier, and so but you can also say a lot of. So it's also up. Uh, it's up to you, right? You can say. Perdón, uh, perdón. En la primera cometí un error. <laughs> Yes. Esto me pasa por no poner atención a todo lo que está aquí. Yo miraba el porcentaje donde dice public school. Entonces yo estaba tratando de hacer yo la oración sin leer el ejemplo que estaba primero. Uh -huh. Lo siento, sorry. Entonces y ahora está más fácil. Thank you. Exactly. Some, some young people. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Now, what you can do, no, just, just if you want to go like uh, to a higher level, uh, you just can look at the graph, gráfica de pastel. You just look at the graph, not to the pie uh -huh. graph, and just to try to uh, try to remember which is the quantifier. You can say a lot of, or you can mm -hmm. say many. So it doesn't matter. You can say, and what's 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 the topic? Young people. And what's the situation? going to college so you can say um, many young people go to college or you can also say a, a few or some so my point is if you don't really remember the quantifier at least get close to the quantifier o sea no me vaya a decir every all all right <laughs> or no one right so that's the point over yeah. there all right now let's look at the next next exercise number three. First of all, look at the percentages. Ninety-five percent they talk, forty-three percent they have a hobby, and eight percent internet. It says what people, internet. what people sixty-five and over do. That's the situation over here. Okay. Not many. And then you have not many. And first of all, you have to match this. So maybe not many is. Uh, I would say uh, people over internet. Um, I would say, no, okay. people like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then you have a lot of, uh -huh. a lot of, uh, uh -huh. according to this, is 43%. According to this, right? According to this graph, uh -huh. and then nearly all it's 90%. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and then so, first of all, look at the graph and then read the paragraph to get an idea and number three organize your your information in your mind and just try to say it. that's the way it is mm -hmm. okay yeah. nearly all mm -hmm. nearly all people and talk to family and friends Friends, mm -hmm. no many, and a lot of. A lot of is uh, for three percent. Mm -hmm. Now you see. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, Arturo, and and um, let's see who else is over here. Yes, Alma. Yes. Do you do, do you remember this image? Let me just take you back over here, and I'm going to just mute mute your, your microphones, you know, just for a second. So just listen up. Por eso no hay que casarse con estos porcentajes, verdad? O sea, y quizás la expresión casarse está mal usada, pero igual. Eh, so you don't have to be, I would say, too picky, verdad? O sea, a, a lot of, like very tough, demasiado estricto con estos porcentajes. Because these are these are just some estimate. For example, that's what I said. No one is is, is like zero percent. Few is like 20, 25. No many is like 40. Some is like 50. A lot of is like 60, 65. Many is like 70. Most is like 80, 85. Nearly all is 90, 95. Okay. According to this, verdad? That's what the textbook is telling you. But in real life, it's up to you. O sea, depende de usted qué quiere decir. And, and it also depends on the context. Why? Porque mira acá, a lot of, 
a lot of le dije que era como 60%, but over here is 43%, Arturo, and Alma, right? As you can see here. And of course, nearly all is 95%, so nothing changes over here. But not many is telling you it's 80%. No muchos. O sea, es un sinónimo de, de, de few. You can say that too as well, as you can see. I think that, that point is clear, right, Arturo and Alma? Yeah, you can say not many or you can say few. No muchos o poquitos, like we said in Spanish, right? Or you can say few. Right? And, and just, now, so Arturo and, and also Alma, quizás un consejo que yo les podría dar, ¿verdad? Because I, I think that at the end of the day, o sea, al final de todo, al fin y al cabo, at the end of the day, what you want to, to do is to learn English, okay? Not just to practice this. And the best way to do this is, number one, to go the extra mile or to take this to a higher level, ¿verdad? And, and just, for example, number one, look at the image, which is this graph. Look at the percentage and try to think in your mind what's the quantifier that matches the percentage. So like, in other words, you have to know the percentage, right? I, I would say the quantifier. In this case, is almost all or nearly all. 43%, it would be a, a lot. You know that it's a few, but it could be some, or it could be many. So it's actually, uh, it depends what you want to say. And 8%, a, a, a you can say not many, or almost nobody, or almost anybody. You may say that. O sea que, traten de hacerlo sin mirar la información. That's my point over here. You know, you try to do it just by looking at this, and then just look at the, the, the context, verdad? What's the situation? It says, what people 65 and over do. ¿Qué es lo que hacen? What do they do? They talk, they have a hobby, or they use the internet, or they spend time on the internet. Y si yo reviso este párrafo, it says, it says that information. It says 90, 95%. You can say uh, nearly all uh, people over 65, blah, blah, blah. And then you go a lot of, uh, it says 43, yes, a, a lot of, like to spend, blah, blah, blah. And then not many eh, like to spend time or spend time on the internet, okay? And it's not because, you know, I'm your teacher or I know more English or something like that or I have more experience. Pero, o sea, mi punto es, you have to uh, do this in a very, I would say, uh, uh, how can I say this? In a very complete and critical way. O sea, como algo crítico lo tienen que hacer estas cosas. No solamente de irlo haciendo. In that way, you're going to learn a little bit more. Okay? We got to think, you know, critically. That's the idea. Nice. So I'm sorry for the interruption. If you finish, let's go back to the main session. Or, or do you need more time, Alma? Yeah, I cannot hear you right now. Okay, okay. All right, so, all right, so let's go back over here. Let's close the rooms. All right, so welcome back everyone. Thanks for still staying over here. And, uh, you know, I really like, and I would say I, I enjoy these uh, types of exercises because they really get you thinking, right? They taste you over here, you know, they make you think or they make us think over here. So can I have a please a volunteer who, the, who can help me do number two, exercise number two, please. Can somebody help me please to say yes? Uh, and I have two participants over there. And let me just see what's up over here. I want to check. Thank you, Alma. We're gonna start with you, Alma, and then Christopher, you're gonna help me with exercise number three, okay? Go ahead, please, Alma. Okay. Many people, many young people go to college after high school, and some young people go to college after high school. That's great. Uh, in some you said mm, 
All right, so the percentage, uh, I mean, the quantifier would be okay, but you gotta be careful. You have two situations, Alma. The first one is looking for a job, okay? Or looking for work. And the, the other one is going to college. So you have people going to college and the other one just looking for a job. O va a la escuela o estudia. That's, I would say, that is the, the study. Es el estudio que hicieron, right? So you gotta say young people, many, what's many? 65%, many young people go to college after finishing high school. But some young people look for work. So we have to mention both, but that's okay. You use the, the uh, quantifiers, you know, just fine, okay? And the next one, let's see, Christopher. Uh, could you give it a try, please? If you don't mind. Um, not many people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. <laughs> yes, you see, um, not many. Uh, why, why not mm -hmm. many over here? Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, not many. Or do, would, you, would you say uh, nearly all? Because not mm -hmm. many means, not many, it's, I would say, like very low percentage over there, okay, Christopher. Not many, it would be casi nadie. You say, o poquitos, o pocos. Not many. Yes, Kevin. Let me just one second, Christopher. Let me, uh, just one second, I'm over here. Yes, Kevin, go ahead, please. 95% uh, of people over 65 like uh, to talk to family and friends is mm. nearly all, nearly all people over 65 like talk uh, to talk to family and friends. Yes, yes, thank you. So there are two ways in which you can say the same information. You can use numbers, percentages, you know, math, statistics, or you can also say quantifiers, okay? Like when you do a research, you see a qualitative, o sea, la, la investigación cualitativa o cuantitativa. That's the point over here, all right? Qualitative or quantitative, okay? And thank you, uh, Kevin. So, uh, Christopher, would you like to continue with the next one? Christopher, with a lot of, over there? A lot of people like to spend time on a hobby. That's great, thank you. And, and, and let's see. Nearly, you know? nearly, nearly all um, people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. I appreciate that. And the last one was not many people over 65 like to talk uh, to, I'm sorry, uh, not many people over uh, 65 uh, spend time on, on, on the internet, right? This is the last one, okay? What I was uh, telling like some of you in the breaker rooms is, please don't be picky with the percentages and please pay attention to this. According to this graph, 43% it's, a lot of, yo le dije que a lot of it, it was like 60%, right? But it depends on, on this author, right? This other one, nearly all, that's okay. Pero aquí hay una variación, you know, there's a variation over here, okay? But don't worry about that. Vaya, instead of saying people over 65, las personas de la tercera edad, you can, instead of saying las personas de la tercera edad in English, just like that, you can say it in a different way. You can say elderly, all right? Or elder people, all right? Please don't say old people because that's disrespectful. Disrespectful, all right? Personas de la tercera edad is the elderly, you know, all elder people. Okay, you may say uh, nearly all elderly people or the elders like to talk to family and friends, etc. Okay, 
So instead of saying people over 65, it's elderly people, elderly people, okay? So that's, you know, that's a different way for you to say that, all right? And I'm gonna send the wall over there, all right? Means people over 65 years old, all right? Because if you say an old, an old person, you're saying viejo o vieja, which is disrespectful, okay? So be careful with that. Now let's continue. Nice, uh, I think that I have for you this one. And it's going to be a rhythm. But right now I'm just gonna give you, let's say some suggestions or some tips on how to answer this because I only have around three minutes. Tomorrow we're gonna start with this. You see this term over here, stay at home dads, okay? Los papás que se quedan en la casa to do the same role as mom, okay? Stay at home dad, okay? Stay at home dad. And, and according to this, what we're going to do is to read the article and then check the questions you think the interviews will answer. We, we, why do men decide to stay at home with their children? What happens when both parents work? Okay, that happens, I would say, here in El Salvador, and it happens here at, at my house because uh, my wife also works, and, and so do I. Okay, so that's the point over here. Now, first of all, what you can do every single time you read, and I think that's what you do because you read books, you read, you read the newspapers, uh, you read uh, magazines, etc. You read novels. Okay, so this is not new for you because you, you do this in Spanish and I will say it in English as well. If you want to understand what the reading is telling you, like to get the main idea, start reading the beginning until the end. And if you're reading something in English, it doesn't really matter because what you're gonna get is the main idea, right? First of all, if you read silently in your mind, okay? If you read silently in your mind, you're just looking for the main idea or the comprehension, okay? Now, if you're taking a quiz, take a look at the questions over there and then, what you do is to scan the information. That's why you have to read everything, you know, completely. So all I'm saying is that if you don't read everything completely, you're gonna be wasting your time looking for the answers because you don't know where to find them, okay? So in this case, my point is get familiar with the reading. And then if you don't know a word, just underline it, please just underline it, right? If you don't know what together means, underline it. But please do not stop to look for the word in a dictionary or just to Google it, please, because you're gonna be wasting time. And in the end, you're not going to understand the main ideas. When you read in your mind silently again, that's for reading comprehension. And when, then when you scan the information, it's just to take a quiz and see if how much you understand as well, okay? And when you read aloud, which that's what we're gonna do right now, Okay, that is just for the pronunciation and the fluency. So right now, everyone, I'm going to be choosing some of you. And then, for example, if I say, uh, I'm gonna ask you, Lorena, if you don't mind. You're gonna help me read the introduction, please. And then I'll be choosing somebody else who can help me read the first part of William Chan, et cetera, okay? Okay. Go ahead, please. Read the title of the article, then check the question, and an interview will answer. Why do men decide to stay at home with their children? What happens when both parents work? Families in the U.S. are changing. One important change is that many fathers are staying home with their children. They take care of the kids, and they will go to work. Modern family marketing has three stay at home that the question what is like being a stay at home dad. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, and since we don't really have the time, I'm just gonna ask 
Eh, let's see someone that I haven't heard uh, this evening. Let's see, Mr. Roberto Jimenez, if you would like to help us, sir. Thank you, uh, Lorena. Uh, you're gonna read William's information over here, okay? Mr. Chan's information. Roberto, are you here, sir? Okay. Thank you. And I'm having a great time. When the kids are at school, in the school, I do housework or youngest child goes to school part time. When I pick out, pick her out, I love the one on one time with her. Then when my two two sons get home from school, we all play together. We do stay home. Well, wasn't happy at my job. It was it was pretty stressful in fact. I wish I could do this, right? Just to say, okay, I don't like my job, I'm just gonna stay home. It wasn't happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can do that, that here, you know. Otherwise, I would just starve to death, no matter the amber, right? <laughs> yes. Now, just one thing over here. Eh, Roberto, I'm everyone. Eh, it's, it's not because you said it wrong, no porque lo dijo mal, sino porque we gotta, okay, we gotta, we gotta distinguish uh, something out of the pronunciation over here. No es lo mismo decir Juan que joven, ¿verdad? In English. It's not the same yeah. thing. All right, so just one second. You say, Juan, in English, you say John, right? John, John, John. like like that, right? John. And oh. jo joven, you say, young, y, y, yes. y como jovencito, digamos, de edad, you say youngest, right? Young, young, okay. young. Okay. Young, young. Yes. Okay. In Spanish, we have that sound, so I think it's going to be uh, perfect for us, right? Right. You see, yeah. our, our youngest, youngest child, etc. All right, thank you, sir. So it's time to say goodbye. We're going to meet together and we will continue reading uh, Mr. Daniel's, uh, Daniel Evans' information and Roberto's Garcia's info, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So class is over. Have a great night and hope to see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, everybody. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye, everyone.